This is my homebrew shortwave receiver. I want to show the functional units. This is the audio part, the loudspeaker amplifier. This is of course the loudspeaker. This is the beat frequency oscillator. It generates a signal between 451 and 458 kHz that's inserted in the intermediate frequency amplifier and it makes it possible to uh, receive uh, radio stations on single sideband uh, that are uh, transmitting on single sideband uh, system. This is the um, VFO, the variable frequency oscillator. It generates uh, a sine wave between 6.4 and 18 megahertz and this is the fine tuning. With this I can tune to the exact frequency of the radio station. This is the tuning capacitor of the antenna coil and I can set this uh, to the various uh, frequencies that are needed. It gives a peak in a certain frequency band and uh, it makes it possible to receive weak stations especially. This is the high frequency um, amplification, the level I can set it with this knob. I can also switch it off and on and the reason is that this high frequency amplifier is not necessary for the lower shortwave frequency bands up to approximately 10 megahertz. This is the band switch. I can switch it between uh, two uh, frequency bands 6.8 up to 15 and 15 to 18 megahertz and they correspond with this switch on the VFO. It can also be set to different uh, frequencies. I'm listening now to radio amateurs on the 7 on 7 megahertz. It's the 40 meter band. They are from Italia. And you can hear them now. And I now want to demonstrate the different functions by tuning all the knobs. I now want to turn. Now turning the BFO, beat frequency oscillator. And you can hear that the voices change from Donald Duck voices to normal human voices. By, by turning that uh, knob and changing that frequency. I hope uh, the Italian uh, radio... <laughs> Now it's set to the right uh, frequency. Okay, thank you very much. Have a three, bye bye. I'm now going to demonstrate the fine tuning. This is the effect of the fine tuning to the amateur station.